Hey guys, Dan here. Just to let you know that my reaction videos come out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I also do live streams each Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday on YouTube. If you want to help out the channel, there will be a link down below to my Patreon. Thank you for your time and now on to the video. Have a good day. Hey guys, Dan here with another Brazilian podcast. Today we're gonna have the second part of the interview with the office crew. Tonight we're gonna be having Flaming Cookies, King, hey. Michael, and Pine Tree. Guys, if you can, no. please introduce yourselves. Flaming Cookies, you Hello go first. everybody, my name is Pine Tree. Welcome back to another episode of Five Nights at Freddy. <laughs> go on, Cookie. Uh, sorry. Hello, I am Flaming Cookies. Um, I make Gary's Mod content on YouTube sometimes. Not too, I mean, that's kind of what my other friends do too, but yeah, I'm part of the Gmod Office group. Hello, my name is Nate, and I'm a certified professional dumbass. Uh, I'm Michael, is very vintage. I also uh, do Gary's Mod animations. Uh, if you notice the quality, it is considerably better than everyone else's, but you know, we don't talk Thanks. about that. Hello, my name is Pine Tree721. Uh, I'm the self proclaimed internet funny man, and I still hold this title. Um, I, I also surprisingly make Gmod animations, but yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm starting to come around to other forms of content. So, yeah. Hi, my name is DD. 99 and I am also known as the Brazilian and I'll be the interviewer for tonight Okay guys, so once again, thank you all for coming. Thank you for having the time Finally, we are finally getting this interview because it took a month for us to actually be able to gather here today Yeah, happening and we finally got it. Yeah, the, the first part was recorded finally. like a month ago Yeah, uh, yeah, the, fir the first the first part is uh, how everything is supposed to go uh, We said like in the, within a week to talk the second part uh, That's where the problem begins <laughs> I love logistical planning. Bro. Yeah, yeah, the postponed just start coming and they don't stop coming. Oh god. Oh, are you going to be next time? <laughs> last week, but nobody knew what time it was, so we just didn't. Yeah, we almost stopped this whole podcast day just to talk about Legos, but that's something to another live stream. But, uh, yes. guys, as the first question of the night, uh, uh, there's a question. Where did your interest, uh, the you guys' interest, came to become YouTubers or to make videos for YouTube? Uh, cookies, why don't you start? Uh, well, I mean, I've kind of been interested in making YouTube videos for, like, such a long time, like, ever since I was a kid, like, you know, um, like, watching YouTube as a young little child, um, but kind of ended up making my own content, and the Gmail and stuff kind of came from just one day I decided to start making TikToks, um, Sorry, on like Gary's mod, uh, kind of machinima is inspired by other people that have done the same, and that kind of eventually kind of just evolved into me making YouTube videos based off the same kind of subject. Mm -hmm. uh, Cookie said that TikTok I slowly started to raise a, a Glock from behind the table, but then oh, just no. okay, not today. Then I just put it back. To You're not gonna be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's very nice. Uh, but Cookies, did your interest for animating will also maybe follow you beyond videos that also in your day to day? Um, what a just a, a general and personal question. Do you have also animation as a hobby or second interest in your life? Uh, well, I have like wanted to learn um, 2D animation, but I haven't really gone too far with it. I, I am learning how to like draw art, which I could eventually make into animations. But yeah, it's something that I'd like to pursue probably in the future. Oh, that's very cool. Do you have a personal style of drawing that you're like? Like you said 2D, but uh, do you have a specific type? Um, not really. Um, like a certain like style, like painting, or I kind of just draw digitally, I guess. Oh, okay. King, what about you? Why did you start making YouTube? You know, I can recall... <laughs> Well, not barely YouTube, but like TikTok videos, it all started around there. I start to raise my clock again, but go on. I told you. <laughs> I can recall the like the day I was like in the bathroom and I and I was looking at TikTok and realized, oh shit, I can actually make videos on this and actually do stuff. In the bathroom? And, and uh and the thing is Gary's mod was kind of a niche platform on, or niche kind of community on there. So I said, hey, since uh, nobody's doing Gary's Mod stuff on here, why don't I do that? I can, I can also, do I, going in my bed. It was also a partial inspiration from Goonie McCooks, uh, another one of our friends. He's cool. Uh, yeah, Goonie. Yeah, he's pretty rad. Goonie, if you're watching so this, I decided, oh, I decided to do it. 
okay? I can just imagine King just sitting there, taking the doo doo, and the moment that uh, the shit hits the yeah. water, is like when he gets the idea, he right. like, gets mind blown by the idea. <laughs> Yeah, mm. the, the enti his entire TikTok kind of inspired by uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what about you, Michael? Where did your start to, to develop this interest to make YouTube videos? Uh, well, um, you know, when I was a young lad, uh, like anybody my age, you grew up with YouTube since you know YouTube was rising. Everybody wanted to be on YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, I would watch, um, you know, stuff like old John Tron, Angry Video Game Nerd, uh, and, and particularly uh, Kiryu 706 and Das Bullshit. I loved those kind of content as a kid. They were great. Yeah. Loved them to death. So much so that I wanted, you know, to do some of that stuff because it looked fun, you know, and. Um, first attempts, not so good. They, they looked awful, but you know, as it, I, you know, went on, they got a little bit better and, uh, here I am right now making content on YouTube for a while. Uh, first of all, yeah, I think that's something that everyone that is in Gmod inevitably, inevitably, inevit Everyone, never, no, no one, no, no one. <laughs> what, what, what I, what I'm <laughs> open the door. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that uh, everyone that works with Gmod who got inspired as a kid, it's uh, hard to not uh, not to find people that uh, were inspired by Kirio Seven and many other very yes, talented uh, YouTubers and then yeah. the narrators like uh, as Bush. Well, yeah, I think it's something that a lot of people like uh, around my, uh, our age. I say I'm right now ten. I do not know how old you guys are, but uh, 10 years ago, everyone would know Kitty, that bullshit, so those were great info. But uh, still are inspiring a lot of people, even today. Yeah, they're not well, they're not, hmm? you know, very well known now anymore, which is kind of sad, yeah. but yeah. I still have a nice spot in my heart for their videos and stuff, so. I guess if we you see any of my videos, it's clearly reflected, you know, the inspiration, stuff like that. Uh, go ahead. Fine. Your turn. Why do you like and wanted to make a YouTube video? What was your motivation? Inspiration? Well, well, you see, I've had a lot of inspirations through my life. Uh, ever since I was a wee lad of seven years old, I would hide behind my couch on this big iPad and watch Minecraft videos. And then I realized they had swear words in them, and my mom was like, Don't you go watching those videos! I'm like, okay, mama. And then I did them anyway. It's a very fun story. <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> Bad boy. What, what kind of got me into immigration <laughs> in general was uh, seeing people on TikTok do Gmod shit, and I'm like, oh, I I, I, I could do that. That's I, easy. I put the glove down, I take the shotgun. Come on. I, I, I touch your shotgun with my glove and throw it out the window. I warn you. <laughs> Is anyway, everyone here on um, TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all started on TikTok. Except oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh no, yeah. I'm, the... Yep. So, I just started on. Uh, Michael Crab was. I've always got. Well, not new. Well, no, it's a YouTube, story I'll get into later. Okay. But um, essentially what happened was, we went. I did that. I did TikTok for a while, and then I kind of like dropped it because I was kind of lost motivation and interest. And then um, a class I had in my high school was like, okay, uh, my one of my English classes was like. You're gonna make a project, like, what's your favorite thing to do, and then make that a project. And mine was, okay, uh, I like to animate, um, so I'm gonna do that. And that's exactly what I did. That's where, um, Gmod Office the Pilot comes from. Uh, it's probably the worst thing I've ever created in my life. Um, Think stones. But, you know, it's still, it's still, it's still one of my things. Uh, it, it exists as a video uh, as soon as i posted it it got immediately copyright strike because i used the simpsons theme so that was fun but uh <laughs> it was a really bad video uh decent voice acting i guess not not on my end not on anyone else's end who's in that but uh you know i, I could have done better but i inspirations youtuber wise or like this wise uh goonie we'll go back to him huge inspiration for me uh nate who's right right there uh okay. and then probably right here, watching team fabulous 2 uh the kiddo 706 video uh i've watched that a few times i was really confused about like i, I watched it when i was like 10 i was like what, what, what's going on i, I don't get this what, why are they doing this i, I kind of want to do this and then <laughs> you know like eight mm -hmm. years later i'm like i'm gonna do this and then i did it and then i kept making videos and yeah that's about it 
Yeah. You said the thing about uh, your first video probably being the worst thing that you ever did. So I can agree with that uh, in my own perspective of my videos in a way, you know. Because I think that's something very normal that a lot of people just uh, see your first video and uh, even even when you release you will think that it's not good, it's bad. But uh, still it's a very important part of you. I still remember when I got my first uh, comment hate, you know, not even having any uh, constructive criticism, just simply bashing the quality of my videos and in a way it was right. Uh, me from a year ago it was much worse than today. But in YouTube and trying to uh, do something fun and uh, maybe in long terms, that's the important part. Each, in, uh, each day we got a little bit less terrible. <laughs> that's uh, just something normal. I feel that. Uh, I remember when I got my first hate commented, I hearted it and then I pinned it to the top of my comment section. That's exactly what <laughs> I did. That's exactly what I did on my too. I'm like, you wow, just somebody, put hates full blast. Somebody, somebody hates me so much they started the comment about it. That's yeah. great. Hmm. I, I I remember <laughs> that day. I, I, I remember that day with mine. I just uh, turned on to my father and said, uh, "Hey, dad, guess what? What? I just got my first hater. I'm growing. <laughs> I'm growing as content creator. That's like a milestone for content creators. Your first yes, content. yes, your first. <laughs> yeah, first yeah, I haven't reached that milestone yet. And then you get your first death threat, and you're like, that's that's when you've truly made what? up. I am still waiting to add your fucking IP docs. Three hundred subs, yeah, not yet. I finally made I'm it in the world. world. I'm still, I'm, I, I, go on, go on Michael, Good, go on. Mom. No, I was, no, I was just saying, yeah, no, I'm waiting for that day when someone just Thank comments, you. "Wow, this is a piece of shit, bro." You know, uh, the 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 next steps are to maybe get uh, a full Twitter rage on my content. After that yeah, is to get a, a news channel reviewing the hate and saying it's uh, not uh, not cool and not the right thing to do. Uh, yeah, no, and no, after no. that, I will receive a <laughs> pipe bomb made by a furry on, in my mail. That's uh, the I'm next step. I'm gonna steps. purposely get canceled on Twitter. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> see. Uh, you're gonna see people talk Look about it on the news. They're like, what the now these these you truly a menace to society. <laughs> I hate YouTube and I hate video games. <laughs> So, um, hypothetically You're speaking, we are talking game. about the Gmon. I hate video games. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate video games. I believe the game is eventually good. <laughs> you can get sidetracked here. My yes, favorite game is Secure of Dice, Shadow of Dice twice. Now, I like these other dumb games. Alright. <laughs> getting sidetracked here. A little bit, yeah, because it's, it's fun, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, so leaving, like, uh, leaving the harmful comments and uh, maybe possibly future death threats uh, to the side. Uh, so guys, tell me, you are all part of the Office crew, correct? You are all part yep. of the, this yeah. gang, this... Uh, brotherhood, yeah, let's say? Ground, yeah, yeah. This, an, like this animator gang, this... Yeah, we're a gang. Uh, we, you know, we're, we're constantly transporting drugs Mafia across the crime border. Family. Okay, you're get <laughs> the Gmod crime family. You guys are. Uh, it's not serious, <laughs> by the way. Do not take it seriously. <laughs> I, I, now, 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 you guys will need to work on an episode where the IRS go to the office. <laughs> I actually, reasons, that's a joke for legal reasons. I, that's a joke for serious. Yeah, it's a legal legal reasons. It's a joke. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. But uh, how did you all came to, to stumble by the office crew? I already did this question on with the other guys, with uh, G Epic Gma Boy and the other ones from the part one of the interview. But uh, what about you guys? Uh, Cookies, so, how did you join it? Let's go in Discord order. How did you uh, join it? I think I, I kind of heard differing um, uh, stories, but I remember how I joined David, it. Do you remember your first... story? No, like from like Sans and other people like had uh, other stories. Oh. Like, from like the first inception, I remember way back in the far off year of 2019. Um, way, way back in the 1980s. My model used to be like Nate's model, but just like a different color. And so I decided to just make a video where I'm like, okay guys, I'm changing my model. And Nate somehow found that. And, and you that picked video, the worst DM'd model me. in existence. He DM'd me on TikTok and we exchanged Discord tags and we kind of just started talking on Discord. And eventually we found more people that also make Gmod TikTok videos and we kind of just started building a Discord group around that. So TikTok brought you all together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Michael honestly just kind of showed up. Michael just plunged himself into existence. We can get to that later. I can't. Michael was just there the whole time in the office playing on his Xbox 360. I would like to add. 
I, I would like to add, I added, I added a burning corpse of his model in, in somewhere <laughs> in the map that we was playing on. <laughs> oh yeah, that. We played, uh, we played Gmod together he, once. And Cookies DM'd me, what is this? And I just said, pizza. Yeah, I think that's what I said. Your, your reply, it's, it's funny. It's a prank, not a threat. <laughs> it's a prank, not a threat. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, that's that's so cool. You know, either way, even though I do not like TikTok, it's kind of cool to see that you all managed to get to get there. So even though if it was via via TikTok, it's it's a cool and wholesome way. You know, a wholesome way. Oh yeah. 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 We all don't. TikTok is an absolute <laughs> shit platform, but it got us all together some way. I don't think any of us even post on TikTok anymore. No, we don't. <laughs> Sans does, but Sans only does with the post of Sons of the Forest gameplay. <laughs> oh wait, I have not even. Yeah. I don't even have TikTok saw, on my new phone. Like I have. Thing is, I saw a comment. I saw. I saw a comment under those videos, and it, one of the comments was, "God, Jesus fucking Christ, your voice has changed." <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I would, we have done like three years. He yeah. put Subway Surfers gameplay under it. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I don't know why you did that. That was stupid. But if you close your eyes, oh, it funny. almost feel like nothing changed at all. Exactly. Yo, King, what about this you? Christmas feels like the very first Christmas to me. <laughs> King, what about you? How did you join? I think, I think I wasn't the one that joined it. I think I was the one that made it, but uh, that's Ooh. very vague. No, I feel like Nate definitely probably started it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anybody, I think I was the one that made it. I think I was the one that made it. Like, okay, why don't I just? Okay, we keep on DMing each other on TikTok. I have all these. Ti I have all the well TikTok tags. Why don't or Discord tags? Why don't I just add a make a group that's just all the Gmod content creators on TikTok, and just call it something like Gmod Office or something. Oh, that's exactly what I did. That's actually a different story behind how the oh, Gmod That's what I did. I made the server. The server died. And then and then there's now a server owned by Sans. And then, we moved, yeah, and then we moved to Sans Epically Kingdom. That fell through. And then we did the Gmod Office public Discord server. That fell through. <laughs> that fell through hard. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. This is that except, like, Chris. Nobody even... <laughs> he messages like... like... No, it's like... It's like Chris and my friend Blake. They're the only two people who use. For context, uh, uh, Chris is just like Chris an annoying fan, I suppose. That we'll call it. That. No, no, no. He's gonna listen to this video and he's gonna be sad. He's about gonna. Oh, what? I, fine. What do you want? I used to be annoying. Yeah, I don't Chris. know if he's still annoying though. He's not annoying. 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 Cool. Yeah, Chris, Chris uh, if you're watching, shit, watching this podcast sure. somehow, you're watching not annoying. Right now, watching this like shit talking. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. uh, Chris, if you're watching this, uh, we love you. S I don't. Of. Except Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Except Michael, he fucking hates you. Well, I don't forget. <laughs> so, guys, go to the next question. You guys, it's fun that you guys talked about the uh, idea. It was Michael's uh, model, right? Uh, Person on the internet animation model, right? Because I would like to ask each one of you, how did you guys stumble or created your, uh, your, your, your on, Dan, you forgot to ask, uh, and you forgot to ask Michael, how did he join the office crew? Oh, I fucked up. Go on, my bad, because uh, I was a little worried that this <laughs> oh. would go just to become a witch hunter. Oh, Chris, got me. <laughs> my bad, <laughs> so my bad. Sorry, Michael, you go. Sorry, go on. All right, so when I first started, Michael was very vintage. I was posting on new grounds, like was said earlier. But I was like, you know what? I mean, I'm getting some good positive vibes from new grounds, but. TikTok was still pretty big at the time, and that was, um, you know, before, like, mass hate, before it was, like, you know, spreading around, like, oh, it's owned by the Chinese, you know, and stuff like that, so, like, oh, I'll go on, repost some clips, uh, get some attention, and it'll be good. Uh, it was not good, did not get any attention at all, saw some people, you know, they commented on stuff on some of my posts, but that was about it, but then I found out that, oh my god, there are other people posting Gmod content on TikTok, which surprised the hell out of me, because... When I downloaded TikTok, it was like 2020, and I'm like, who's still making Gary's mod content in 2020 other than me? So I found out they were all part of this group, the Gmod office. I'm like, sweet. 
Um, actually, though, the first person I met was Melonhead, is his name. He was part of, uh, it was a different one, the Construct Crew, is what it was called. So, uh, yeah, we, we don't like those guys, they're, they're mean. They're they disbanded anymore. a while ago, but they yeah, used no, to they have they a disbanded because, No, they disbanded because we raided their server. Hey, That's hey, a, hey, I, hey, hey, Bontry, hey, Bontry. Hey, hey, I have the talking No, you're stick. leaking too much. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. I don't Anyways, think it, I so think. I joined that server, but it was it was a it was a whole shit show. I did not like it at all. It was all just a bunch of like annoying twelve year olds because that's what they were. They were all annoying twelve year olds. But then I found an invite to the Gmod office public server. So I'm like, oh sweet, another Gmod group. And they were actually kind of cool. And so for a little bit, I played Minecraft with them in the public server because that's when they were VCing in the public server. So so, and then just out of nowhere, I was added to their private server server the private chat server and i was just kind of i was just kind of in at that point I was Prize. Kinda yeah that's how that's how a few people joined us actually they're just like yeah hey, can i join you and they were like yeah sure why not i didn't even oh, ask yeah. like you, i didn't ask at all pine tree just like sent me an invite and like sweet no because so i was like okay guys this guy's cool and he can make good animations and he's better than all of us so uh we're, we're <laughs> <just kidding. laughs> that that would be lucky yeah. too actually same story i think he just randomly joined one day. Legend didn't even have a computer when he joined us. <laughs> this guy will be our mentor. He was just Santa's friend. <laughs> smoke signals, smoke signals. He yeah, literally was just Santa's friend. We literally. He didn't even have G. He didn't even have a computer when he joined. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still Great. a friend. He's still a friend. He's still a now friend. He's, bad, man. he's a cool guy. He's and so cool, now I've completely stopped uh, posting on TikTok and Newgrounds. It's just YouTube from here on out. Yeah. Come to learn that TikTok is very mentally draining. Yeah, like not yeah, for me. I didn't use it a whole lot. It was just annoying to use. Uh, so yeah, that's why I quit in the first place. All the clips they get on TikTok are just political bullshit, but we won't go into that. I don't even. Please don't. Nope, we yeah, won't. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Anyway, uh, I, I, that was I, time I, already, I already lost all my political brain cells when I had to react to your back into this political discussion videos. <laughs> Now it's time for my epic backstory. It all began one night when my parents were walking home with me from the theater. Was it raining? I showed up and killed both of them. This is and I was Batman. like, no, mama, mama. No, this is Italian <laughs> Batman. This is Italian no, Batman. Mamma mia. Into the backstory to Batman. <laughs> no, it's not. It's different. I will never test a mama for mama past again. <laughs> and then uh i was like okay no actually real, real, for real origin story uh the group kind of started uh they started talking on tiktok and then we're like yo you want to put like gmod together or something and he was like sure and so we did that we blew up some stuff threw a nuke down probably crashed the server realistically but um knowing us we we, we just kind of accumulated uh we just kind of gained en masse to like more people nate was already friends with like sans uh who else cookies i think jasmine when he made tiktok videos uh i can't remember anybody else but it was like those few um but what happened essentially was um you know we all we all got together we all chill and hang out and then you know slowly over time we just became more and more friends we accumulated more people we got um uh, after after a very long time of convincing uh getting goonie to join us that sucked but we eventually got him uh thorn joined us because he was just he just asked he literally just asked hey can i join you guys and i was like sure why not he seemed cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like some kind of stuff happens like that sometimes. That's how joined. we. That's how we joined. That was his epic story. But um, backstory. Whoa. No, not his backstory. It's his epic story. Okay, can, epic. Can, no, story. Can, can we hear more of the Italian Batman storyline? Oh god. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> all right, so anyway, there I was, uh, dead. My parents were dead. Not me. I, I was still alive and well and healthy, and I was like, haha, you are dead now. X D D D. And then I, I turned to my side and I saw who killed my parents. It was the boomerang monkey with uh four slave <laughs> upgrades <laughs> and, oh no not and, him and the joker is mussolini i was the joker yeah, gave me links to pirate adobe anime <laughs> he, he threw he killed my parents with illegal copies of adobe animate malware <laughs> 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 
They killed my parents with malware, and I didn't have a good antivirus. Like, I didn't have malware, but he, he did not have he did not have protogen antivirus. You need to install protogen antivirus, but I had the protovirus. <laughs> I love that video. Your storyline can just be dumbed down to I, a random monkey hat, hacked my parents. <laughs> Benjamin. My parents now where and they died. <laughs> Benjamin no, gave my computer Benjamin. a virus. No, Benjamin sucks. I hate Benjamin. He's a computer hacker though. He's only good when you're running monkey banks. <laughs> Okay, now okay, moving anyway. moving away from the monkeys and the pasta. Now, truly, I can make a, the third question: How did your internet personas came to be? The ones that you you guys use nowadays. Cookies, you go. I uh, yours is the I'd say one of the three most recognizable ones that I have. I take four in the Jim Modafes crew because you are the I'd say. You are the most distinguishable one. You you seem like a Pokemon, if I'm correct, the, the right? Tiny green dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Also, there uh, the, the ones that I remember from the pop my head. There is Guni, the Minecraft skin. There is a there is a Epic Gamer Boy with Sans. There is Michael, which is the only human that actually has yes, a face. Only human. And uh, uh, there is Cookies. Those are the ones that I remember easily. Sans is a human. He's just a dead human. <laughs> Fun, fun gaming. F yeah, he's Ness. But uh, fun gaming fact: uh, Cookie's model is probably the worst to animate out of any model we have. Is he? Yeah. Is he? It sucks. Dude. Is he wiggly? Uh, it's, it wiggly? sucks because his it's arms wiggly, clip to his like, body. It's no, so his arms clip inside of his body and he like wiggle the model around. The collision the model is off. The, it's weighted <laughs> weirdly. It's like how Gmod <laughs> works. It's yeah, a pain like... in the ass to use. <laughs> Yeah, that's why together, I would right. never use his model for anything. I'd like replace him. This with is why I'm model. gonna stop using his model in all my videos. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, but uh, go on, cookies. Tell us maybe how did your uh, yeah. persons and models right. evolve with you? How did you came to right, be so, the model um, you are today? Like I mentioned um, in my older TikTok videos, like before I kind of decided on like some sort of concrete thing, I suppose. Um, I had. It was literally just the TV head model, which is the same one they uses, but it was like a different color. Uh, and then eventually one day I was like, you know, I don't want to use this if Nate also uses it. So I made that one video that's something that's saying like, okay, I made yeah, I remember model. that video. Yeah, I, I like changed my model and I made like a, it's like a funeral <laughs> kind of thing for it. Um, but I, that. I think as for the model I have now, I don't think there's anything like deep behind that. I think I just like saw it on the workshop i'm like yeah that'll do so i decided to use that as my model instead and probably one of the worst decisions i made in my life but whatever okay and uh, how did you come to be with your new one you actually made it did you incommodate it did you huh your your current one the the one with the fucked up physics Cookies yeah, decided, hmm, which model can I fuck up my friends with the most? <laughs> oh, I <don't>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of, I, I think I kind of saw using it. Using the powers of the unknown universe to possibly select the worst model in existence. Jesus, I think I kind of just like saw it on the workshop, and I was like, that'll do. Probably one of the worst decisions I made in my life, but uh, there's nothing really that deep behind it. Really, I just thought it looked like a cool model, so I decided to use it. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the next model, uh, Cookies, when are you going to change your model? <laughs> you, wanna, you, wanna, you, uh, you, wanna, you want to, you want to get my Glock to borrow, you want to borrow my Glock for a second? No, it's fine, I, I have I have my own means. I have my what? own gun. Tool gun, still lead him. Yeah, I have a tool gun. <laughs> lead him from a yeah. distance, get him out of here. <laughs> nice. What about you, King? So it basically, so it basically started like on TikTok again. Back in the year nine million and nine. Before the before I was using the T yeah, TV head model, I was using male underscore oh seven. Which I need to Google that. So I decided to change on that because because for one, it's just really fucking generic. Male 07 looks very generic, For and number two, almost every. Oh shit! Mom. Oh yeah, that like was, was the that's what the reason why I always choose it too. Being Daz bullshit with the fucking like blue, male like, 07. the blue shirt, Ice the male pack. 07. So I I kind of wanted to be more original. But I, and I I went through TikToks of other Gmon creators, and I noticed that they haven't used this uh, TV head model thing. Yeah, you could say you're Nathaniel Bandy striving for originality. What? <laughs> 
So I decided on the TV head model, but I didn't want to do it without knowing, letting my fans know. So I decided to make them vote. <laughs> Both, both, both. These are not both, both is my good. models. Oh no, this one got shot. Well, I guess <laughs> this is the main one now. That was the lore of mine, no, the actually. The male underscore 07 model canonically disappeared from existence. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I can definitely Sorry. correlate with the Oh, I'm using Dust Bullshit model because when I used to play Gmod, the I would always pick it because it was Dust Bullshit's model. So, yeah, I'll go with this one. I like it. Er yeah, or judging by the uh, judging by the sound I use for the fucking goodbye video to the old model, he's probably in the spirit realm from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> no one will ever hurt you, you anymore. Like Kai theme? What did you use? <laughs> My time has come. <laughs> Master. <Should> he... <laughs> Don't leave me, Michael. Uh, yeah, I just, so ever Kai since theme? I've been using the uh, TV head model, I uh, stand villainy. Hmm. Stan Villainy, the name of it? By the way, Stan Villainy, if you're p somehow watching this in the corners of your internet, please, I, please make your fucking model have five fingers, please. Who made, who made the, the posing, movie model? I gotta go yell at him to fix the model. <laughs> yeah, guy uh, who made the TV head model, fix my model, give me actual hands, I have forks. You mean the blockhead? Yes, he made that model too. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. He has more actually. fellow. Just kidding, oh we God, love you, laddie. I don't. <laughs> this is being okay, filled off. I love you. I don't. <laughs> I love you, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> For legal reasons, I have to say I love you. <laughs> to move on to Michael. <laughs> Michael, uh, tell me uh, personally. I love the the model you had when you lost your vintage. That was a, a very good Discord mod. <laughs> uh -huh, that was not my yeah, idea. Michael, I should have kept that as uh -huh. <laughs> uh, So. Um, it's it's a it's a bit of a history, man. My uh, persona and my persona, I guess. Are you started friends, out uh, in the way beginning when I first started actually getting into YouTube. Um, it was called the Derp Nation. That's what the name I went by originally. Oh my god! Oh god! The animations were awful. I made them when I was like 11 in Windows Movie Maker. Speaking of which, can we get a uh, D Dan to react to your uh, Lego FNAF thing? No. Can we get D-Dan to react to, uh... Alright, anyways. Seriously, Anyway, the Derp Nation? I haven't guys, heard that. Alright, alright, back, back to the topic on end. <laughs> Why'd you guys shove the most? Anyways, so, um... It was originally the TF2 engineer with some cosmetics I found in the workshop, but... Then I stopped doing that, and I completely switched it up to reviewing cringe content, because it was 2016. God. And everybody was doing that. But then that was boring, that was lame, so I got rid of the channel. And I made a second one, Michael McJazzer. And it was just a whole grab bag of stuff. It was just whatever I felt like doing. It was like YouTube poops and some game videos, but that was about it. But that one was not very fun because, you know, there's no defined theme that I could stick to. So I deleted that one, and then I made Michael is very vintage. And I thought, oh well. Uh, look at all these models I could use. Um, and Malo too, I thought, you know, was the best looking one. I, the one that I liked, you know, the most. I could use Malo 7, obviously. And any of the other male models, they just sucked. I didn't want to use anything from the workshop. Because nothing really appealed. I didn't like all that. The weird cartoony bullshit that you see sometimes. So, Malo 2, simple, nice, pristine. And, you know, I'm a pretty vintage guy. I like old stuff. You know, like I have a bunch of retro consoles. And I play a bunch of old games. So, you know, that name Michael's very vintage fit it pretty well. So, that's how we got there. He's vintage after all. Yeah, Until he loses vintage. his vintage again. Until I lose my vintage, yep. Michael. Well, that, it's, a, it's that bastard Thorn's fall. He spilled soda all over my Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, my, hey, Michael, I got this PS5. <laughs> you have to play the Xbox One immediately in the car, though. <laughs> Uh, my, my, Michael's Xbox, the moment you see his friend bring a new Xbox. Michael, no, don't leave me, Michael! Michael! Oh my god. Michael! Michael, don't leave me here. Michael! Or the Michael! Moment, or the moment he says anyone bringing a soda next to it. No, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 no,
What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? I'm dying. <laughs> Uh, uh, it was Wait, nice. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. What about oh, you, Fine? Uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty basic story. Uh, my internet sauna has changed a lot. Uh, I, I went by a lot of shit. Not, not on YouTube, but, um, just in general. I went by a lot of shit on, like, different platforms. Uh, the first ever username I think I came up with was, like, Spirit. I think I, I made I ended up like third grade on the bus because I'm like, oh, this is a really cool name. I'm gonna be intimidating people. Ah, Byron. and then um, I made that. I, I don't know why I made it was like my name and then pirate. So just anything starting with an S and then Your name is pirate spy? at the end. Yeah, I'm the spy. How'd you guess? I gotta kill you. Uh, spy but, but um, essentially what happened was uh. I can't remember the end. Uh, the the seven two one at the end of my name that that kind of changed. Uh, somebody, some random kid at like this soccer event was like, "You want this cool username?" It was like, "Sure." And he gave me the username Bomberman seven two one. That was my first ever username. And then the seven two one kind of kept. And I really don't know the origins of my my new username. I just kind of picked it one day. I'm like, "Oh, I like pine trees. Like, I guess I get to use this." And that, that's uh, basically tree. what happened. But um. I started content, I, I'd say my first ever <clears throat> content I published was on this channel called Pachi721 Plushie Incorporated. If you if you search me on um, YouTube, that's the second result. That's also my channel. There's two videos on there. Uh, one's entitled and the other one's called Super Mario Serial. Actually, that's That three. video is one of my favorite things I've ever made because me and my friend made it in one night unedited and it was really fun to make we spent a lot of time it was just us throwing around dolls i had around my room or like plushies and then uh you know i moved into the gmod content and then i even realized oh i have to make a sona or like a character to associate myself with and uh i, I kind of looked around the workshop i was like oh this, this looks cool and there's the black cat model I'm like mm, this works and so yeah that's the origin of that the origin of my my sona is pretty easy i just looked around the workshop to find something cool I don't, I don't have like oh my character was killed off or oh my character was blank whatever died in the car crash y you know someone killed his parents buster <laughs> someone killed my, <laughs> my brother <laughs> i would like to say uh the fucking origins of my username it actually it was actually a fucking nickname that i got from my grandma <laughs> Oh, really? Like, no kidding. Why is, your, why is your mother calling your grandma? King Nate the Great. You're so yeah, great. Oh, uh, <laughs> come on. That, that's, that. a, that's wholesome. She, that's wholesome. My grandma came up to me. She's like, that. oh, I'm saving cookies. <laughs> my grandma. I was deciding on a username. I was deciding on a username one day, and I was like, <laughs> trying try to, like, going to the backlog of my memory, and I just remembered that. And it's like, okay, I can work with this. How do I make this some sort of, like, gamer tag thing so i so i replaced great with gr8 very original name no, very original no that, 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 but very yeah original. really that's a very cool thing you know that connection you did with your grandma because my grandma had a nickname for me too Oh, oh I love you, my grandson. No, I love no. You, my grandson, D Dan 99. <laughs> no, no, no. D Dan 99 comes from another place, but no, uh, she used to call me Mistake. Hey <laughs> <laughs> there, Mistake. I'm Dash. <laughs> I have to make this one. Oh, I have to make this one. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> Oh, it's my my beautiful son, his, her, 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 his wife, and the and the and the little mistake. And this is my son, mistake. <laughs> this is my little mistake. You've gotten longer. <laughs> Are you growing chest hair, mistake? <laughs> my mistake is growing so much. Oh, oh look! Oh look! Since the last time I've seen you. Oh look, it's King Nathan the Great and the mistake. King Nathan the Mistake. My grandmother turns to your parents and is like, so uh, how big is your mistake, bro? And he's like, oh, you know, five inches. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, that's what I had to do this one. I had to do this one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sidetrack nice. you. <laughs> we keep getting sidetracked. We probably 
Come back on topic. We joke, we joke, we can, we can. <laughs> we, like, around on a Monday. We, we, we do, we do, a, we do a little staking. We like to party. We're doing it, we're doing it, we like, we like to party. Yeah. We like to fool around on a Monday morning. <laughs> we like to participate in tomfoolery. I don't even know what that. I don't even know what that means. Me, me and the boys are uh, going to watch Morbius on a Monday night. The movie's great. Let's yeah, talk about Morbius. Oh, my, my favorite part is when he says it's Morbin time. He morbed all over the place, dude. I love that scene. That's our Morbin all. Got the movie shit. Yeah. I, I, I think they should. Shit. I think they should have put the movies in theaters at third time. I would watch it again. Yeah, we need to. Yeah, my my favorite movie, movie of all time, or not my favorite movie. My favorite shitty movie of all time is um, Food Fight. Food Fight. Well, I, yeah. food fight. <laughs> you ever heard of Food Fight? It's uh, like a shitty. 3D animated movie where like a bunch of grocery mascots in it. If you reason, haven't heard it, of think, it, don't. Think Sausage Party, but worse. Actually, no, think Sausage Party, but better. <laughs> I, can laugh at, I can laugh at Food Fight. I can't laugh at Sausage Party. I have not they, watched they, this, but uh, uh, looking at this, it, I, I believe that this would be generated after the Barnyard movie or after Madagascar. Am I right? I When did Food Fight came out in like, 2009? Uh, it was like completely mo capped. Uh, and it looked like. It was in 2012. Movie. Dude, Jesus Christmas! It looked like the the 3D animated Donkey Kong Country cartoon because they um mocapped everything, <laughs> and everything just looks super weird. And there's this one guy who walks in. He goes, "You must be Leonard, the manager." <laughs> and he talks to me so weird. And then there's a scene where like there's a poop Moves. rat. I, I don't know how to explain him. He looks poop like a poop rat. rat. Yeah, he's a poop rat. <laughs> it's like it's like a rat, and they put the most greasiest texture on him in existence. So he just looks like <laughs> sentient shit. He looks like a slimy wet turd. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> there's there's a line in the movie where he goes, "You despise me, don't you?" And then he looks straight at the camera when he's saying it, and then he gets hit by a train. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's I think my favorite scene in the, that is my favorite scene in the whole movie. This is the best scene in the whole movie. It was the best scene. Yeah, because the poop rat died. It is the best scene. Back later. I like violence. Oh, I think that this might have come down the time uh, that uh, we had. Uh, oh, what was the name of it? Like those type of movies were starting to rise a little bit more, you know, since the use of 3D animations was starting to get bigger and bigger, right? I think yeah, it was around the 2012 that uh, even Disney started to move uh, around the. Uh, 3D animation instead of uh, 2D animation, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think but, so. But, you know, it was, it was whatever. It, it happened, I suppose. So I can only say okay. that. I have an extra question. What is your favorite, you guys? What is your favorite uh, uh, pleasure guilt? I think that's how they call the movie, you know? The movie that you know that is just that bad, but uh, you watch it because you like it. Oh, hands down, The Room. Nope, The Room. Tommy Wiseau, The Room. Give me a summary of that. Blossom Give me your pastor. best summary of that. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I read about that one. All right, okay. Oh, no, so, we're talking about um, the pastor. Tommy Wiseau plays the main character in the own movie that he directed and he filmed and he paid for with the money that nobody knows where he got. He paid like six million dollars for the entire production of the movie, and nobody knows where he got the money. So, anyways, it's really weird to follow the plot because it, the writing is just so bad. Like, you kind of have to, like, really think about it. But to put it simply, I, um, Tommy, he has a wife or a fiancé, I don't know. Um, and they also have the, just this random kid that lives with them. It's never explained if it's their son or, a, you know, a, you know, like a niece or nephew or something like that. It's just a random, random kid. A random kid's there. And they just hang out, live in the house. And Tommy's wife... Uh, is cheating on him with another man who is Tommy's best friend mind you in the film and that all culminates at the end when he's like I'm fed up with this world and when he says it and he kills himself but the scene is just so awkward and there are also five sex scenes in the entire movie and th <laughs> they all happen most of them happen in the first like 10 minutes there's another which I, another which I might add on. some of them reuse footage from the very first one <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so it, it's definitely a, a movie. But and you watch these scenes, scenes how often, the Michael? Movie. Do you expect Tommy was out of fuck five times? <laughs> five times movie. in a row. I I can't recall my favorite besides besides food fight. I think 
Space Jam, I guess. People think it's pe- some people think it's a bad movie. And I used honestly, to enjoy I Space Jam. Agree with them. I still enjoy Space Jam. I, I, it's a shit movie because Michael Jordan can't act for shit, like at all. He's like, oh, Good don't Jordan. worry, Tweety, I got this. And then he like <laughs> does fucking gum gum rocket and then extends his arm. I, I don't know. That movie was so weird, but it's so funny, just because it's just a lame. Like, it's a weird move. Like, Bill Murray shows up in it for some reason at the end, and then they play basketball. It's... I don't know. It's, like, my second favorite movie of all time, because there's no movie where Michael Jordan teams up with Bugs Bunny and the Looney Tunes to fight aliens uh, from, like, the moon it's in like a game of basketball. No, it's... we do not talk about Space Jam 2. That movie's <laughs> a shit no. show, and it's a my... disgrace to the Space Jam my... brand. <laughs> my, favorite, uh, my favorite part about Space Jam is when Jordan says it's Jordan time. Uh, he Jordans all over the place. Yeah, and he uh, does his iconic Air Jordan move, except he stretches out his arm really long because he can do that now. But you know, uh, the thing about Space Jam, I think the best part was just the little aliens. They were actually the most uh, amusing part of it all, you know? Trying to. Fuck me, I, they... hate the, I hate the nerd blocks. They are so annoying and just dumb. But speaking of the nerd blocks, actually, uh, here's a fun fact. They show up again in Space Jam 2. And they reuse the thing from the first yes, movie. I know, yes. I know, yeah, they reused it. They didn't even take took the time to reanimate it. Exactly. It's so dumb. I don't know oh, why shoot they do it. it. Renew it. Reboot <laughs> it. Redo it. <laughs> but did you know that they actually, there was, there was a guy on YouTube that did a parody of Nickelodeon for Space Jam? Did you see that? Somebody, somebody made that on YouTube. Yeah, it's very it's very good to just pick Nickelodeon characters to do the basketball with the OG uh, Nickelodeon villains uh, to play against them. There was Plankton, there was some others that I don't remember. It was... yeah. Okay, so we got uh, Space Jam and also Foot Fight. Michael, what? which one was yours? The name of it? It was the, his was the, it was room. the room. The Room. The Room. Didn't say mine. Same? Was the Room? What's your favorite guilty pleasure movie? In Spy Kids 4. Spy Kids? I, you could have picked any Spy Kids movie you picked Spy Kids 4, the worst oh movie God. out of the entire thing. I, I love the scene where he kidnaps the child and we never see it from him again. That's Spy Kids 3, Nate! That's Spy Kids 3, Game kids. Over! That's the third one. That's when the grandpa shows up and he goes, You're supposed to be winning the race, Judy. And he grabs a child off a moving motorcycle and then disappears. For clarification, we never see that kid again. So we so we just assume that he just threw him off the bridge. Oh. Dude, I love... Dude, Sp- you don't get Spike Kids 3. It's a great movie. <laughs> no, uh... Also, also mm. fucking Pogo Toads in that one scene where he... Ch- where the Pogo character Toads! Jumps. <laughs> <laughs> There's also that one scene where he jumps on a target and gets sent to the moon. And it's like, it's like 0. I, 0.1 I seconds. remember that scene so vividly in my head because it's like it's, it's just like a picture of him and they like rotate it using Adobe Animate. It looks I'm free. So <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He just gets sent to the moon with like in like a span of three seconds. Oh, I just got to I I heard you guys say Spike. Heads. I was trying to Google, but you guys said Spy Kids, right? I heard so. I heard you say Spike Heads. Oh, oh no, Spike Heads. So, uh, there's a. There's now there's I know. One scene. There's this one scene. This is one scene that like they're like in the super villain base, or like the super villain robot. I can't remember. But there's like f- fucking like electricity balls behind him. But the thing is, they forgot the green screen then. Yes, it's, so it was, really it's literally just. Yeah, I thought you were gonna talk bald. about the scene where um the, the the one dude shows up and he goes, "Somebody ring the dinkster." Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I remember there's my. There's guy in oh. been also that the clip fucking every day. also also the fucking unnecessary title cards like mom. <laughs> oh, I, that that I have to admit that was going to be one of my pleasure guild movies because I grew up watching Spike is and uh, to compare that to fucking race that they did on the movies was. Fun. Yeah, you know, watching that as a kid. Yeah, yes. watching any of those movies were cool, and then they released really Sharkboy and Lava Girl, and then it just kind of all gone to shit. Mr. No, not, Mr. not Sharkboy and Lava Girl. Red. I give more credit to them. Uh, Spike, it's four. That that one. Oh uh, yeah, that one was horrible. That was a very yeah. big downgrade, you know. Yeah, they have the talking dog for some reason, and a lot of fart jokes because it was like 2012. No.
funny. Yeah, so, like even, funny. Even, even the mad parody of Spike is for the better job than Spike is for. Yes. So, <laughs> on. we're missing on one, aren't we? We're missing on one. Oh, guys. Me, um, uh, no, I'm gonna yeah. be honest, I, I, I don't really know an answer to that. D Dan, really look in general. Huh? I cannot uh, do OPS. Is got that means look on my phone. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't really watched. I don't really watch too many movies too often, so I don't really have an answer to that. To be honest. What do you mean? You watched? Uh, you watch movies? I mean, I those? watch movies, but I don't like do it. Like I don't like. Oh, like I would. <laughs> I watch movies, but I don't watch movies. <laughs> I, watch I've, movies I've watched the movies time. before. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna show before, cookies though. a movie. We're gonna show cookies a movie theater. It's gonna fall in shock and awe. Yeah. Oh my, what is this? There's just a big Why screen. The TV's so big. It's like a tablet, but bigger. Uh, it's like those like <laughs> it's like those like people that like saw a train going towards them and they started screaming because they thought it was real. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the movie starts and jumps oh out of the seat. God. Like scared. Like the first ever movie. I thought that thought the train was the actually going towards them. I remember. I think that was oh the first god. actual like uh, recorded movie, was it? When they showed it to the public, the train coming, people actually yeah. jumped off of the seat. Yeah, system. they screamed. They're like, "Oh my god, the train's coming!" Holy shit! <laughs> Uh, the one, oh, the the one guy who didn't actually jump out of seat. Oh my god! They're like, what, what the hell? Is this? That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, I can really oh, imagine. The train's right behind me. Isn't well, that <laughs> happened. I can I can really imagine they doing a shoot post where the train actually becomes uh, Thomas the Train Engine and actually runs over everyone. <laughs> everyone dies at the end. <laughs> Uh, but uh, Everyone died the, the end. end. But really, I have to agree that uh, Spy Kids is still one of my pleasure good movies for what I can remember. The three that I thought here real quick is Spy Kids, uh, Van Helsing with uh, the guy who played Wolverine. What was the name? His name I forgot. The guy who played Wolverine is gonna play Hugh yeah Hugh Jackman. Yeah Hugh Jackman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, I used to really like that movie as a kid, but uh, remembering nowadays, the it's it really hasn't gone gone good. You know, it's it it didn't age well. The acting was uh, very very doubtable because of the script. The script didn't make a lot of sense in some scenes. The pacing of the movie was weird. So it did not age well for me. But I really used to love that, and I think that if I sit to watch, I might have still uh, good memories but i do not know if i will still like it and yeah. to finish it off i think that uh, the last uh, guilt uh, pleasure pleasure guilt movie that i had was a uh, uh, panic uh, what uh, panic 4 uh, you know you guys know like the shit post line of movies that they did about panic everyone everybody panics mm -hmm. i think what you guys know the name Oh, it's it's the same like the first movie is where the line uh, "Run, bitch, run" came from. Yeah, it's a scary movie. Yeah, yeah it's a scary movie. Yeah. Uh, oh, that one. Yeah, so because uh, the fourth one, I think, is when they start to go into uh, uh, War of the Worlds, you know, by Steven Spielberg. They try they try to do a parody on that, and it uh -huh. was it just did not feel the same, you know. But uh, it was one of my favorites of the franchise. But I today I recognize that. Uh, the previous ones were still a lot better, especially because of the memes. Like, yeah. what's up? 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 <laughs> I, I saw that movie for the first time at my friend's house, and I saw that. I'm like, oh my god, it's like a meme! <laughs> also, also the first actual time that I uh, rings right next to you. Yeah, <laughs> your friend oh. slapped you. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Also, also I remember that uh, the first time that I actually watched that too, and the thing that made me go search for that meme was actually that bullshit making a Gmod version of that with the uh, yeah. Bill, uh, Francis, Boomer, and the others just go, what's that? <laughs> also, the annoying orange also did apparently on that. Oh god, god. let's not talk about him. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, fun, don't, fun no, actually, no, don't say it, don't say it. Oh, no. We're not okay, getting into so, this. Um, so, so DJ, no, listen, no. Listen, hear me out, no. hear me out of this. Um, We're not getting into hypothetically, this. Hypothetically, shut up, cookies. Hypothetically, oh, no. the annoying orange is real and I kill oh, him, but I go to prison god. for it. If the, anor, uh, if the anor, uh, annoying orange was real. 
Yes, and, I've, and I kill him, but I go to prison for it. We're talking about uh, in the Annoying Orange universe, uh, would you would be in his universe or you would be no, in our universe? No, it's just our universe, but he's real. I would say no. Because in yes, Annoying Orange... No, I, I would... No, because uh, because technically it would be a very, a very big uh, ethical and uh, problem because you would be killing a, a living being, a conscious being, you know? It's yeah, not yeah, like a... Uh, and I'm not, I'm not gonna... So solution. I will not get about uh, like the philosophy and ethics about, for example, eating meat or being a vegan on it, but where you're actually killing a sentient being, you know, that actually can talk, has a mind of its own, and actually can communicate with you and can develop and uh, portray a certain level of intelligence. But considering that every time that uh, Orange tries to do something, get someone killed, or just uh, get them out of your mind uh, to do something stupid and kill themselves, I really think that I would not judge you if you kill them. I would not. So you're saying he deserves it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah. Cookies, you you guys haven't thought about this that it's the annoying orange. Everyone hates the annoying orange. That's not a reason to a, kill listen, someone. I have a simple yes, solution that solves I, the it's Saddam like, It's like killing Saddam Hussein. I'd be a war hero. Depending Wait, on the no, country. Like a, like a, just annoying. Dan, I, I literally came, came up with a God. simple solution <laughs> that can like literally solve this entire debate. Yeah. What you have to do is like buy a zoo ticket then go to the Please hippo enclosure or any other enclosure or like a orangutan enclosure and just throw the orange in there to be fair i think that if you throw orange at a zoo and go home later in that day he's gonna come back with the entire zoo and something's gonna kill you or eat you from the zoo yeah but the gonna yeah, his but the is, consider his plot very... armor he so just, you can't he say die. that you killed the orange you're just the man who caused, caused no. it no no, but the thing is, if orange if orange spawned right now in front of you and you killed it, I would not judge you, you know. But if it was uh, like something recognizable in the world, that would be a whole lot different, you know. Like, I oh, really the annoying orange is actually me. real, Jesus. Maybe just go to the going to prison? What are you in for? Uh, I killed my <laughs> wife. You? I killed the annoying orange. Becomes the kingpin of the prison <laughs> after saying <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah, anyone who wants to kill you, she goes, hey, knife! Uh, just nice! Snap. Give it to a, or maybe like give it to like a koala in the wild or something. <laughs> Yo, yeah. oh! Something, something that, guys! Something that likes when oranges, when like up fucking this, like, orangutans when I brought up or whatever. This, um, when I brought up this hypothetical to our server, we launched into like a 20 minute argument about it. We started shouting at each other. Guys, <laughs> yeah, he I, mentioned I, it I just, everybody because he thought room. it was that important. I, it was the No, guys, it wasn't. I, I have to, I have to yeah. say, guys, I have to say that I'm scared Here because... Here we go again. Guys, I just have to say that I'm scared because I just had an idea. And if I say it, I'm actually scared that uh, either the original Wait. channel or Netflix will do the idea. But just Netflix. imagine... Yes, but just imagine if... Uh, they did a series called Orange is the New Annoying, and it's actually a series about uh, prison for for fruits. And Orange is, a, oh, is already in Orange, just like uh, Orange is the New Black, but it's with the other Orange. And then they're in the shower, it's like, hey, hey, knife, and it's just a prison shake. Oh my god. <laughs> You just kill everybody. <laughs> so basically, this Are show is just deal? annoying. Orange goes to prison. Yes, <laughs> there's a lot of shaking because <laughs> knife. <laughs> Better, or better title, Annoying Orange Gets Sent to Alcatraz. <laughs> oh god, but yeah, I'm Annoying not surprised. If, no, I'm, not, I'm not surprised if the if the original creator heard this, the, heard this theory that he would actually do this little series about Annoying, Annoying Orange, Orange going to prison. No, he kills his girlfriend and he goes to prison and gets into the- Oh, not passion. Uh, what were we talking about again? Oh, because uh, his girlfriend was a uh, passion fruit. Yeah, I, mean, I, you could probably I used to watch. I used to watch. A, I used to watch a lot of Annoying Orange. I know the character. Annoying Orange is probably insane. Anyway. People like Queen Sandy yeah, and get and, and, and and the was there for some reason. It's the Hawaii Part Two reference. We got on me, Tabascus. You, you didn't even mention that Tabascus was there for some reason. You have oh, a lot what? of friends, and they let you get on a fruit stand. Except Tabascus. Wait, wait. The guy who did I, like I uh, the gaming show, channel right? a long time like, ago. Like, really? Yeah, it was yeah, him. Yeah, was it was him, the janitor guy. Yeah, the yeah, guy. That was I didn't know. No, that was him. Jesus. <laughs> it's Tabascus. Adventure. <laughs> he got eaten by vegetable zombies. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so I think we we just uh, interacted a lot. So we need to run away from the I hope that's all in the interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will go into the interview. Oh God.
Yeah, you just uh, half of the interview is annoying orange now. By the way, uh, during the entire time we're talking about the annoying orange, uh, could you just put a monkey spinning in the corner? That's all I want. <laughs> I do not yes. know if I can. <laughs> but I'll try. Just like, remove it right before he says that. Like spinning in like a pool. Remove it right before he says that. I have to go back and check so it boosts your attention. <laughs> uh, okay, but uh, the next question before we talk more about the annoying orange. Uh, no! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Move it on! Please! Okay, shush! No more than your so should not, not be named. Okay, so guys, the first question is, what's the best part and the worst part about doing YouTube video? This is one that I asked everyone, and I think it's a very important one to just recognize and just to show everyone who's watching uh, the ups and downs, you know, and because they are so relatable. A lot of the ups and downs are very relatable, and I think you guys, since you guys all work in animation and... Uh, Videos with animation, you guys will agree on a lot of stuff. But your okay, case, so what is the best part and worst part about Dune? Um, I, I feel like probably the best part is kind of just making the video itself. Me personally, I like seeing like a final product. So like being able to like after you're done with the whole production process, like show everyone like in the server like your new video and like just watch the finished thing is like a really rewarding experience. But probably the worst part <laughs> sometimes is just actually making them like cooking with cookies. Um, that production process was kind of shaky, like it took like a month to make a five minute video because like there was a lot of different like scenes that had to be reworked from the script and like, I don't know, sometimes I just lost motivation to work on it, okay. but in the end, it's really nice to see like a finished product. I can still remember the f the 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 drop on the frame rate when you use the flamethrower because of the HD <laughs> graphics yeah, of the fire. I don't know what happened to the video quality there. It just like went down. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, if you're finished, cookies. Are you finished? Uh, yeah, I think I'm finished. Yeah. King, please. Great. So I think the best part about making the video is that like, oh, you, it's like no one else made this, you made this. I'll use uh, one of my videos as an example, uh, Peter Swag 2. Okay, the best part about making that video, it was pretty funny. Bad part, I actually had to do tricks and shit. Or like keep yeah. the motorcycle on the track. I had to improvise. So I guess the best part about making videos it is just uh you made this. It's only it's only you. You made this, you completed it, and you should feel proud about it. But the worst part about it is that <laughs> it's just actually making the video itself. But having the need to actually complete that video. Like, like let me explain. So you start a project and like you you just decide halfway that like oh no i i don't want to do this anymore but you but you're at that point where you just can't back out and that like like pretty much sucks so i what i would like to do is just uh you know actually complete the video you know that's a rare occurrence that i actually make one i want to complete videos nate i don't think it's only you <laughs> I don't know if I like it. But I can understand the feeling about yeah. making maybe a full circle, like a uh, start, middle part, and uh, we finish it. Yeah, something. Yeah. Can I can I move on, King? Michael? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, here, uh, here's the talking stick. Okay, thanks. Good. There we go. Okay, who uh, ate a piece of the talking stick? Uh, I was sorry. hungry. Sorry. Hey, go on, Michael. Here's, here's your stick. Uh, best part, um, well, I just like making stuff in general. That's me, you know. I'm a pretty big production guy, so I just love the experience of making the videos and posting and everything like that. The worst part, though, is trying to find the motivation to make the videos. And what I mean by that is I, really I don't have any struggles with trying to think of any fun video ideas or anything like that, but it's just like I, with life and everything going on right now, especially since I'm in college and stuff like that, I'm um, tempted to more focus on, you know, the boring stuff, which is my college work so I can actually graduate, than trying to do stuff that I actually want to, which is video projects. And, you know, it's, I don't, it's not like I don't hate doing them or anything like that. I love making videos and stuff like that, but it's always so hard trying to actually get into the workflow of making a video, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because I got all this other stuff going on. And yeah. 
You could have said it better than me. I just totally relate to that. Yeah. Especially in animation. Yeah, animation is like a lengthy process. Just like the entire like video process can take like a while. So it's yeah. kind of hard to... Uh, I I already had a, such a hard time trying to make my uh, the Mercy try to open the Minecraft series with AI and I used uh, uh, is it PNG yeah with PNGs and uh, some uh, just uh, some normal interactions with, with 15 AI but you guys work with a 3D you guys work with Gmod that is 200% more difficult to get through. Oh yeah. Bad boy. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we all we all have issues to fight with. Yeah. Uh, issues I have, especially um, pros to uh, making. Uh, I get to make something cool. Uh, I get to make something fun. I get to um, show it to my my folks and just my friends in general. Like, look at this, and then my friends are like, "Wow, that's pretty fucking stupid." I'm gonna dislike that. I'm like, oh, "Okay." <laughs> uh, mostly, wow, mostly. That's fucking dumb. It's the fun, it's the enjoyment of, um, you're making people laugh, then that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> that was a... The cons of going into this is, Michael said, inspiration. I'm also doing school shit, and I'm always, like, buckled down under that. That's, like, my number one priority, and when I get home, I just, like, want to play a game or something. But I, I want to do stuff, like, video-wise and this uh, outside hobbies, but usually I just kind of get lost in games, and then I'm like, oh, it's 8 o'clock. Damn. But yeah, yeah that's that's mostly it. But uh, I've, I've slowly been working back up the courage. Uh, I lost a lot of motivation for, like, a couple months, and then I decided that I'm going to pick it up again, I'm going to start working on this again. So that's why there's not a lot of videos on my channel, but I intend to post a lot more. <laughs> Funny you said that uh, the part about showing it to your friends because I have a terrible story to tell of you. What I would consider a very best friend move when you have a YouTube channel. Because uh, back uh, I think a year or so when I was uh, very close to hit 500 subscribers, uh, my best friend was uh, at my house and let's call him Jay. Uh, Jay was sitting on my bed, I was on my computer and I told him that I was very very excited because I was about to hit uh, 500 subscribers, maybe by tomorrow. And then he said, oh, okay, then uh, let me subscribe you to your channel so you I can be your 500 subscriber. You're 500, you're 500, yeah. 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 yeah, and I go, wait, you're not subscribed already? Oh, no, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. I just look straight, I just look at him dead and I said, dude, I've had a channel for over a year and just now you're subscribed to my channel? What? You never told me about your channel. I posted on my WhatsApp status every day. Everyone knew I had a YouTube channel. And then he just goes subscribe and go, well, at least you can say that and now you have 500 subscribes. I said, <laughs> oh, that, that, yeah, that's the story I'm gonna keep harassing him till the end of our friendship my or order. until one of, one of us dies. That's when you harass him. And fake friend, fake friend, fake friend, <laughs> fake friend, fake you. When you're on your deathbed, I'm gonna unsubscribe. Uh. I'm gonna unsubscribe for your life support. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, now, no, then, uh, now then, now we'll, then we, now then we joke about it every time we had a small funny uh, interaction about the way provoking each other. Just goes, oh, I'm gonna unsubscribe to your channel if you keep doing that, dude. <laughs> Oh, it just says, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a, friends that actually know or don't know about your YouTube channel <laughs> can be very funny sometimes. Yeah. Friend is just on his deathbed and you just loom over him saying, Hey, I remember that time you uh, unsubscribed from me. <laughs> yeah. I'll plug his life support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the most yeah. petty thing you can do ever. Yeah. Your you unsubscribe to my channel, I unsubscribe you from your healthcare. Post the plug. Sorry, you're uh -oh. unsubscribed from life. Goodbye. Subscription has expired. Your free trial has expired. Let, let's hope you have oh, subscribed yeah. to heaven before this day. <laughs> oh my god. Bye. Oh god. Oh, there's no button. Now, if you don't mind, uh, a very quick question, but uh, doing the fifth question, uh, how long usually it takes to make a video in your your usual day-to-day -day, uh, gaming, you know, creative way? What tools do you guys use? Cookies. Oh, oh boy. Uh, like, 
the process of making a video? Yeah, like, no, like usually how long it takes to make a video and what tools you use to do it. Uh, later we we'll have a question about brainstorm, which is coming right after this. But I think we can amend question five and six, which is uh, how usually it takes to make a video, what tools you guys use, and uh, what is the processing of brainstorming for a video? Questions five and six together. Is gonna um, all right then. So I mean, I haven't really made like too many like actual long form um like full gmod youtube videos like um pine tree and other people have but cooking with cookies took like about a month like i mentioned that kind of had some issues with its production so i don't think if i made another five minute video that would took take that long by that you mean you not making scenes yeah uh yeah <laughs> sorry i had to call you out like that right here yeah you're, you're, I'm, I'm the, sorry, you, you want to you talk know, you okay. knew legend was gonna say something about it i'm just gonna say it now okay whatever anyways we're, um so how like what kind of software um of course we uh gary's mod i always use gary's mod uh for recording i use obs and then i edit together the scenes in davinci resolve uh there's a few Gmod add-ons like um, Stop Motion Helper to kind of make more like actual animations instead of just throwing Gmod drag all around. That one's pretty useful. Um, and then, you know, you kind of just record all those scenes and then put them all together in the video editing software. And then you have a video, and just like that. <laughs> okay, uh, King. So, uh, like, I'm gonna talk about the TikTok videos here, but they usually talk about like which I'd say at a minimum 10 minutes and like maybe above that. Anyway, it's a pretty easy to manage. But the what I remember is the way I recorded, it was not through for OBS. It was not through OBS like a fucking normal person. It was, I kid you not, putting my putting my phone inside of a shoe so it positions. Everyone recorded those screens on TikTok, I think. Yeah, and then everybody discussed. And then yeah, I, I don't have like a future. I used like, didn't have a tripod. tripod. I, d I literally didn't have a tripod, so I just used the fucking shoe. It was I so like hard tripod. trying to fucking maneuver my fingers like onto like the fucking phone. And then you'd mess up and, like press and record. Camera. I think okay. actually funny story about that. I think Melonhead, uh, another person, used a uh, Lego tripod he made. <laughs> Somebody used the tripod. I remember that. I, I, I had like an actual like the, selfie stick kind of tripod like the, thing that I used. So, I don't remember bucks. like, you know, when I usually make the videos, it's pretty basic, but I remember this one TikTok where it's just like, oh, this is great. I, I don't need nothing. I mean, nothing can ruin a wonderful day like this. And it's just like this paper thing. I'm pretty sure people remember that. But the camera, camera was just like going along, oh, yeah. but I, I mean, didn't realize. I didn't realize that there was an add-on. There was an add-on that like moves the camera. So what I did was weld a what what I did was weld a fucking camera to a block, then just made that made that on a slide. Yeah, I remember just you told me about that. Made that slide made that and video. I think I put a thruster on it. A thruster. A thruster. He told me about that when he made it when he made that video. He put like a camera on like a companion cube model and you just like move that along thing it's like why would you do that <laughs> so uh yeah <laughs> that's uh but i think how we make videos i think i yeah, never maybe. went through the the how i can say the phone on my shoe because i never did tiktok so i'm gonna do this quick but the way i recorded peter swag 2 is literally just Peter, Peter, and motorcycle, and uh, death, death scene. I don't think anybody was asking for that. Awesome. that yes, the death scene was very sad. I cried. <laughs> Top ten saddest anime deaths. Yeah, Peter Swag. swag. We're Peter Swag three, actually. <laughs> Coming in uh, two bajillion years. You gotta release my magnum piece. opus, Peter Swag two. <laughs> it's gonna be like like or a Peter like your swag this thing. It's gonna be like a high production value, like amazing like video with Peter Swag. <laughs> oh, there's Peter only swag two Peter Swags. You gotta make more of them. So that's all. That's all the world can handle. Hey Peter. Peter. Hey Peter. Hey, Peter. I like to say the description for the video is Peter races the Invisible Man and loses. <laughs> Great. 
a pizza uh, o'clock. You got your pants on. What's the occasion? Oh God. <laughs> uh, can I pass the? Can I pass what's left of the stick to Michael King? Yes. Right, uh, here's the Michael. talking stick. Go on, Michael. Gee, thanks. Again. All right. Um. Hold on. Give me a moment here. All right. Okay. All right. So for me, it usually takes about maybe two or three months to work on a video. And if that's that's if like you know, it's like an average video, like the series I'm working on right now, Mall Rats, is a little bit different, it's a little bit shorter. So of course it's gonna take shorter, probably about a month, I want to say, for an average workflow. But usually two to three months is the standard. Uh, film everything, Gary's mod, obviously. I don't do anything fancy. It's just a lot of uh, puppeteering with the fizz gun. Sometimes I use stop motion helper, like Cookie said earlier, but that's for like camera movement and stuff. I never use it for like actual animation stuff like that uh, i edit with sony vegas vegas 16 it's not the newest one but it's stable and i like it you know been using vegas for a while now uh record with obs because it's free uh, i use audacity sometimes but not a whole lot um everything i use like effects stuff like that sound effects video effects i get them all online uh, sometimes I pay for them, but most of the time I, you know, I just go into the co dark corners of the internet and download them there. Usually works because they're all old effects anyway, so it's not like it's gonna matter or care that much, I suppose. And um, for brainstorming for any new videos, it just kind of happens, you know. Like I, I can't really say, I can't really sit down. I mean, I probably could if I sit down and think of an idea, but I usually can't got to be like okay there's this idea i had because inspiration comes from anywhere you can get it anywhere so you always got to be like ready to think of something nice or you always got to be in that mindset where anything could be made into something you know into like a video and stuff like that so that's kind of the mindset i put myself in and you nice uh let's see here. uh oh, wait michael give it give him uh, the stick give him the stick Oh yeah, sure. Here you go. Go give him a second. Thanks, I appreciate it. Anyway, <clears throat> um, sorry. Uh, usually video production comes at a, a point where it's like, I have an idea for this. Let's make this. I make the script. That takes me about a week tops if I'm really focused on it. And then uh, I animate all the stuff in Gmod, uh, stop motion helper mostly. Um. Some puppeteering, some like it's like a mix between, and then uh, I chalk it up to my editing program, which is like Filmora X because it's like eighty dollars and it's cheap, it's whatever. So uh, yeah, that's about it. It's kind of a small, short process, but it's fun. Uh, usually videos tend to be around say like, ten minutes long, so they can take a while sometimes, and just getting everybody together uh, to voice act and then not getting the lines for another week. So I, I usually chuck that up to me. Uh, I'm usually pretty late on lines, but that's because of uh, outside forces, motivation, and my computer. Because uh, for context, I have a laptop, a really crappy gaming laptop. It's not really crappy, but like it's eh, whatever. Uh, it's super loud, and it usually gets in the way of my microphones. I have to like completely sh it so the fan doesn't blow into the microphone. So that's fun uh, whenever I try doing that. But um. Yeah, I'd say uh, production is like moderately difficult. It really depends. You you kind of need a good work ethic to do it. So, yeah. Hmm. See, animation really really takes a lot of time. You uh, have to give respect to anyone who tries to. Oh yeah. I tried to mess a little bit with SFM, but everything I can get out of SFM is funny, funny faces. Everything in SFM think... is janky and weird and hard to control. Yeah, none of us use SFM. And I know some people want to, but no, I know none of us don't. At least in my sure. knowledge. <laughs> Pretty sure I used Stop Motion Helper at one point in my TikToks, I, but I don't know. You Pretty did. sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think I did, but like my very old, like my very, very old TikToks when I used a male 07, I committed the unforgivable sin that any Gmod maker, Gmod uh, video maker can make. Which one? Forgot to hide the fist gun beam. <laughs> oh, no. That is like number one mistake. You that did not is, do like, that. 
like I'm, <laughs> I forgot the like, oh, oh just uh, so just recording everything. Red laser just re- all these oh rag god, dolls. no! They're just recording everything, you know, and uh, yeah. It's like the number one mistake for a Gmod tech. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See this. A characters like doing his thing or whatever you just see this giant red laser beaming in the back of their head exactly <laughs> you know, yeah, that, like, a go, like a poltergeist possessing them <laughs> you know that reminds me of one of the greatest mistakes you can do as a reaction channel big my reaction is mixed with gameplay other shenanigans that i can come up to but especially reactions and the ones mm. when i was react or Re-reacting because I was going to analyze the the fight for Sawmill by uh, Rush Mall. I forgot to do an audio check first, so 20 minutes of recording gun to waste because my audio did not work. Oh god, that sucks. That's, that's happened to the best of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was so I sad with that. I, I was so sad with that because I did not want to re-record and pretend nothing happened, you know. I just did a yeah, over yeah, an an analysis. The, uh, uh, they gotta call reactions the re- required re- like, like a fresh, like that's the point, like a reaction, right? So redoing it again kind of ruins the point. Yeah, no, I had already seen it, but after just uh, watching it and then trying to like uh, do the try to do the same thing to redo my arguments after that was just so depressing you know like i felt like i had failed and even worse after that like i think a few a few weeks later the, someone did like a compilation of reactions to the fight for song so because i fucked up the audio i did not got the actual reaction to it and i missed the opportunity of being on a collab you know someone damn yeah it's oh, yeah. so... <laughs> not that, that fun <laughs> Guys, right now uh, we're going to my last prepared question. That is, if you, you guys have any special plans for upcoming videos that you guys can share with us, any sneaky peeks or just any news, anyone, anyone for takes, eh, eh? Uh, oh, I have sure. a question. If you guys have any prepared uh, new videos or idea for videos that hey. will come up in the future. Oh, nope, I don't. Nope. I yes. have like always like a few ideas for videos. Oh. Um, Pine Tree's got some. Want to say, talk yeah, about Pine, Pine Tree? Pine tree. No, I really, tree I really awesome. don't because I'd rather keep that a secret. Okay, yeah, I'm like working on it. It's a Even secret. Even though I've been working on it for the last six months. But it's like a very low quality video. Oh. Well, not low quality. It, it, it's a good video. But, you know. There's, it's like going to be only... good, baby. It's going to be huge. <laughs> I feel like the only video that I have any motivation of actually doing is Peter Swag 3, The Final Swagging. <laughs> oh god. You better make that now. <laughs> yeah, you need to make that now. You <laughs> promise it. You're to your word. <laughs> uh, but guys, uh, if you guys don't have anything else to... I have... Um... Okay, go on. I mean, I've, I've, I always kind of have like a few like ideas for videos that I kind of mean to work on. Like I have a few like scripts that I just have written, but I've never really um, used. There was one, uh, you mentioned earlier, like a drug cartel. Um, it's not that, but- A mafia? It was kind of like, sort of not, sort of like a, almost a metaphor where like something like ramen noodles become illegal and they start like an underground like bar to sell them and then they get found by the police uh there's another one where they had to go on like a cross-country like scavenger hunt to find this one letter uh, there was one with like an evil cookies clone but yeah i mean i intend to make those like actual videos someday but um not not now i guess mm-hmm. but uh guys now if you guys don't have anything else to add, we are very close to finish this. We have gone through all the questions. We went actually through more topics than I expected us to go. I did not expect us <laughs> yeah, to go yeah, through definitely. pleasure guild moves. I did not expect yeah. annoying orange to be a big part. Question. Yeah. I can already see that uh, the talk about annoying orange will be the really high peak of the emotion. audience. <laughs> uh, I have a question for you, actually. Okay. What's your favorite uh, fast food place? <laughs> I already, I, I already had a, finally someone agrees with me because I had this whole argument with uh, Master Rhino. You guys have heard of him. He made the fast food debates, right? You guys have heard of Master Rhino? Rhino? Uh, I'll, I'll check him out. 
It's because uh, basically he did an entire fast food debate on the Merck's debate about fast food and uh, he put Burger King as the lowest one and from then on as soon as uh, I reacted to his video No, but that's, that's the thing. I'm a fast food uh, Burger King enjoyer and he's a, is a Burger King hater So the moment that uh, we kicked off our kind of relationship on me reacted to his videos We actually talk and we even recorded a, a Halo series together in one of the Halos but uh, average every McDonald's fan, <laughs> yeah, but he's actually he's actually, King he's, he's actually a Wendy's fan. But every time well, the I, Burger King Wendy's comes to a Wendy's is great. I heard it's good, but the thing is, every time Burger King comes to a topic, we get into a discussion. You know, every time we get into no, a uh, no. small debate about fast food. I wouldn't say yeah, Burger King's King the worst, is like in Brazil. Wendy's is certainly but... better than Burger King. I mean, to be fair, if Definitely. you guys came to Brazil to eat a bur just to eat a Burger King, you guys would love it because it would be It depends cheaper. on what Burger King yeah, you go to. It would to. be it's a like lot a... of cheaper. It would be a lot cheaper. If you take a flight to America and eat the Burger King here, you would li you would live to hate it. Yeah. Yes. It would, it would... I... <laughs> I, I love Burger King because of the, 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 the cheddar. I love the, the cheese that they use for, uh, for the, the, the double stacker with bacon of it. I just love it. Damn, that's how I roll back, man. Damn. I remember having like a chicken burger from Burger King at like an airport. I, I remember because I've ever had uh, Culver's. It, it's a North American restaurant, like the Midwest, and nobody here has tried it except me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I think it's probably more of a local thing, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it depends because in Brazil, I think don't that the me. biggest fast foods industries that we have, that you guys also have, is Burger King, McDonald's. Some places have Outbacks. Uh, very few places have uh, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and uh, Wendy's is very, very rare. Around here, no Bob's what is also a thing, going? but uh, yeah, it's just a, it's not some some brands here are bigger than others and makes it hard for there for other smaller brands to just go around. You know, it's not that popular. I would like to say I think I changed my previous statement on the uh, KFC being my favorite uh, fast food or 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 a place to eat, because I retract that statement actually because uh -huh. I just remembered. I remembered I used to really love this place called Red Robin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, just to thr throw another rock at Rido, did you guys watch uh, the the Teen Neighborhood Chronicles by the Great Dictator and the Batman woman? You guys watched that? No, but Teen Neighborhood? let me explain yeah, about yeah. Red Robin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, gone. Sorry, sorry, gone out. Yes. Red Robin. It does have like chicken options and it does have like the milkshake and like the normal restaurant things, but their fries are so fucking big that I You're enjoy not even them. Talking about the bottomless mac and cheese. Yeah, they're called like steak it. fries. You, uh, you like them big. You like them. Uh, they're basically steak fries. You like them big with something, something. <laughs> and al also, also, I don't remember vividly, but I think on the wall there was literally colored baseballs that were shape of the American flag. So you know, average American. Oh yeah, average American <laughs> red robin. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, that's nice. But yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 so, hmm. so the Red my, Robin had one of those. Robin, uh, um... Have you guys had one of those restaurants that like had those tablet things? Tablet to like order a lot, food? A lot of like, restaurants to, to order. Uh, oh, so, so you can order by via the tablet, and then they get your order. That, that, no, no. Not only you could like, not only you can like order from the tablet, you can also like play games and shit on it. Uh, I have. Like there was once where I went to London with my you father know, for little, some like, holidays, and uh, no, I never seen those types. Uh, the only ones I saw was when I was very young, where I was at Disneyland. We were on the line to the actual roller coaster, and they had these tablets uh, around the, the 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 line, you know, to be able to play these old games. But I never got to see anyone that actually had tablets to play games while you waited for your food. No, I never saw. They that. had tablets in the Russian. Really? In the is that line? only like? Is that only like a Californian thing? Or like yeah, is it probably? probably. We, have them, we have them where I'm from. If uh, if they put the tablets for the customers to to play with while they wait for the food, I am pretty sure that someone would steal the tablets here in Brazil. <laughs> put tablets playing Family Guy episodes in Subway Server gameplay. Yes. <laughs> Every episode is them eating at the fast food. my second place, my second place to uh, of like eat at. Eating. <laughs> I guess, I guess where the uh, second place that I would most eat at is uh, Chow Pasta. I never heard of it. I never heard of that either. 
<laughs> Damn, no, 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 that's because it's a family-owned business. Oh. It's because it's a family-owned business that my family owns. Oh, okay. Ah, gotcha. Nate, oh, wow. you've never told us this ever. You own a pasta? Is that why you have so much money? <laughs> wait, so, no, so, like, wait, so, wait, 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 so the ba so the, the Italian bad pasta storyline actually had a, a drop of truth? <laughs> my grandpa, my oh. grandpa's cousin are like of it Italian, like from <laughs> Italy, and they have a... What's your restaurant called? My grandpa's cousin. What's your restaurant called? Uh, Chow Pasta. And my Chow grandma's... Or my grandpa... Mamma oh, no, mia, that's pasta. a spicy Chow. meatball. Chow, like, uh, hello, goodbye, in Italian. Oh! <laughs> Chow. Uh, uh, Chow. It's a Chow Pasta. And it's, like, really fucking... It's really fucking good, too. And my grandpa's cousins owned it. And I... And they had this Italian restaurant. And the food there is, like, fucking amazing. It's not... It's not like the topic of fast food. It's like it's like a restaurant, like an actual fucking restaurant. If we're talking about like uh really good local restaurants, there was this one breakfast diner that me and my dad used to go to. I won't say the name because I don't want to dox myself, but um it shut down like recently after like a long time. But they had like really good like chocolate chip pancakes and I've had that every time I went there. And it was really chocolate good. Chocolate chip pancakes hit hard. Yeah. I never had them with syrup and everyone's like, why don't you want syrup? Like I already have chocolate chip, I don't want that much sugar. <laughs> Come on, uh, don't you want to be a little diabetic? Hey, King. <laughs> do, do you want to know, do we'd like to know a fun fact about about uh, Italian that is correlated to Portuguese? Because uh, sure. Italian and Portuguese are two of the seven romantic languages. You know what that means, you know what those are. Romantic like, languages? Yes, yes. It, there are languages that are very similar in a way, for example, you said ciao to be goodbye in, in Italian and in Portuguese, ciao is also to say goodbye, even though it's written differently, is they have the same meaning. Because uh, Portuguese, Italian, uh, French, uh, Catalan, Romesh, Occitan, uh, uh, Spanish and uh, uh, Spain Spanish, I think it is. They originated from the vulgar Latin, which was like the mass uh, during the Latin period, the the, the, the way that the mass, the, public, the lower population would speak the Latin, which was known as the vulgar Latin. So they are very much related because all of them originated from Latin, this form of Latin. Just a, a cool thing about history. And I I'm sorry, I hate to interrupt, but um, I, I was just looking at our private server. Um, uh, Chris got banana sands into a jelly bean video. <laughs> what? I it jelly bean, like the, <laughs> Wait, the the VTuber? Yeah, hang on. Okay, I'll post it, I'll guys. Post it in the general. Here. Okay, but guys, <laughs> just went to went to this beautiful guys with this beautiful news. I think I'm gonna call it an end for this Brazilian podcast, right. guys. Thank you so much for All coming. Right. Thank, thank you, you Cookies. So thank you, King. Well, thank you, Michael. Thank you, and uh, thank you, Pine. Yeah. Not yeah. about each other today. <laughs> uh, let's go, me, guys. Thanks so much for coming. Please check out the channels that will be linked down in the description. If you have not, please check the part one of this episode of Brazilian Podcast. It was very fun to have all of you here. Thank you for coming, and until the next time, bye. Thank you. Thank you.